Friends, the moment has arrived. I'm about to do what I and most civilised people have avoided their entire lives. I'm about to spend the night in a field. Now, the only way I can really bear this is by surrounding myself with luxury camping objects and gadgets. Let's go and meet them. This is the bubble tent currently inflating before your very eyes. It's one of the most see-through tents in Europe. It costs £6,600. I don't know why either. It takes about an hour to set up, and it's where I and my mystery guest will be garrisoned tonight. Its transparent design is meant to make you feel more connected to nature, as if that's what anyone would like. This is my portable outdoor oven, which is actually bigger than my non-portable indoor oven. It costs over £3,000. Let's be candid. This is a big oven, y'all. It's based on the kind of wood-fired ovens usually found outside Italian farmhouses and lets you cook with a higher heat than a conventional oven. And because we're in a field and there's nothing to do in a field apart from to work out ways of leaving the field, I brought this, an inflatable cinema screen which inflates in 60 seconds. Also, I have this, the LumiTab, which is the world's first tablet projector. It means I can carry a whole cinema in a regular hold-all. And what camping trip would be complete without a jacuzzi? That's why I have this, the Lazy Spa Monaco edition. Check this shizzle. Time to brave the wilds and meet my camping colleague. Comedy actor Stephen Mangan. Good. Hello. You received my coordinates. I did. Excellent. Do you like this kind of setting? What, outside? Outside. I love outside. Why? What's not to like? Fresh All of air, it. greenery, sun. Yeah, these are all things that I hate. I'm going to try and insulate ourselves from all of this stuff as much as possible. All right. All right? OK. Let's, um, let's walk somewhere. Let's do that. OK. This way seems as good as anything. OK. We don't have to rely on just my near-mythic sense of direction for survival. OK, it's a good walk. I'm equipped for any eventuality. OK, so what kind of backpack you got? I've got a standard backpack with things in it. I pity you. Oh. Because I have the ABS Avalanche backpack. Yes? That's right, you're admiring my toggle. Do you want to see what happens when I pull this toggle? I do. Good. What the...? What this is, is that if it snows and there is an avalanche... Yeah. ..I could have pulled this and I would float above while you perished in the snow. It's to save you from an avalanche? It is. But it's August and we're in Kent. Quite firm. Well, this is it. Wow. It's amazing. You have been very busy. Are you pleased? I well, I'm. I can't help notice, but the the tent is see through. It is see through. Is that because you you like? I like to have a good, clear view of assailants. Right. I tell you what. I feel that my credibility is being reduced by this backpack. I don't know why you think that. Okay. So I'm going to toss it manfully good. aside. I probably shouldn't have done that. I think it cost seven hundred pounds. <laughs> I've never been in a tent with a, an, an entrance hall like this. No. <laughs> it's an airlock to prevent the air in here getting out. Why is it special air? Oh, there's a breeze. There's, a, there's an actual breeze coming from inside. That's it, inflated. So, how do you feel about this? I can't imagine being in one of these at Glastonbury, for example. I feel it would attract comment at Glastonbury. It would. And I think it might attract hostile people. Perhaps the worst thing about camping is the mere possibility of communal showers, a possibility whose bud I have nipped. There you go. Wow. I feel like Richard Branson. I had a dream like this once. It didn't end well. And I'm going to go into this massage chair. Look. Nice. Probably could have done that more gently. I'm going for lower back and intense. I'm opening I, this. I think intense is just a setting rather than an area. I feel like I'm in a faulty car. Let's hope the sound of this cork going off 
doesn't attract any wild animals. Wow. You really wanted that Prosecco. This is the life. Here you go. Thank you. How's that tepid spa treating you? It's treating me. I feel like... Like a king. I feel like a carrot in a hot pot. Cheers. Good. This is one of the most unrelaxing experiences I've ever had. Oh, well. <laughs>